Since I'm currently in the middle of a film festival run with my new short horror film Rotten, and I've been through this a few times before, I wanted to sort of document my experience in submitting to film festivals to maybe help answer the age-old question of, are they worth it? So let's get into it. So, is submitting your short film to film festivals worth it? Well, that all depends. There isn't really one answer that works for everybody, so as with everything, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. All I can do is give you my thoughts and experience. There are a lot of factors into getting the most out of having a short film in film festivals. That is, if you're lucky enough to get into the right ones, and unfortunately that is what a lot of it is for most of us. Luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. But there are some things you can do to sweeten your chances. Step one, obviously, is to have a good film. If you're going to expect the most out of submitting to film festivals, that's the bare minimum. You have to have a good film. Of course, good is subjective, and whether something is good or not is a whole other video or a whole other series of videos. At least just believe in what you've made. Aside from quality, unfortunately this is a big numbers game, so more often than not, the shorter your film is, the better chance it has of a festival finding a slot to fit it into. In my experience, generally anything under 9 minutes is a good rule of thumb. Now it's not an exact science, I've had longer films do very well in film festivals, so it's just something to be aware of. Now I've definitely been a part of some festivals where some, if not many, of the films are not good. Uh, my, probably some of my own included, meaning that the quality of some just don't live up to others in the festival. We're not gonna be f***ing sunk this year! And in my experience, I think the main reason for that is because in previous festival runs, I kind of cast a wider net and submitted to as many festivals as I could, meaning I went for quantity over quality, which leads me to my next point. Step two, do your research. This is a big one. It's very important to not only identify what film festivals have a solid enough reputation and are worth submitting to, but which ones have a focus that is more aligned with the film you're submitting. In my case, I do a lot of horror movies, so that means I should generally focus on film festivals that focus on horror. Hit the interwebs and research what the top film festivals are for your genre. Even Reddit has been a great resource. Uh, they have a subreddit that is keeping track of others' film festival experiences that can help aid in the decision which ones are worth it and which ones aren't. Now this doesn't mean immediately shoot for the stars and submit your short film to film festivals like Sundance or South by Southwest. These higher echelon film festivals are unfortunately highly politicized, so your chances of getting it are pretty low unless you are an established filmmaker or have some serious names attached to your project. If you fall in that category, go for it. But if you're here listening to what I have to say, chances are you do not. So don't waste your money. I implore you to reconsider. On the other end of the spectrum, don't waste your time with festivals that have little to no reputation or not a good one. Generally, these low-end festivals have little to no online or social media footprint, or they have tons of followers and reviews despite not being a well-known name. Major red flag. And that is because these festivals are bullshit and are designed to take your money. We want some money, Lafotsky. Another telltale sign in my experience of the festivals to avoid are the seasonal or monthly competition ones. These do nothing for you or your career and are designed that way to take your money. Sure, having a lot of random laurels on your film's poster or YouTube thumbnail looks pretty good, but it doesn't mean shit. Another thing I also tend to stay away from are the online only festivals. A major important part of the film festival experience is going to the event, meeting others in the industry, you know, networking with other filmmakers, uh, getting eyes on your film, having a good time. The online festivals accomplish none of that. You're far better off doing your research and figuring out what genre festivals 
have a solid reputation, and are realistic to submit to. Once you've identified these festivals, take a look at some of their previous winners and selections. Do these films at all align with yours in terms of style, quality, genre, any of that? If so, it's probably a good idea to submit. Another thing worth mentioning is repeat festivals. If there's a festival that you were accepted in before and want to submit your new film, that's a great idea. More often than not, festivals that you've been a part of in the past are more likely to accept you again. Granted that your film is of good enough quality and they can accommodate it. That's not a guarantee. Nothing is. A rule of thumb I generally like to stick to is to aim the bulk of my submissions to the more mid-tier festivals, somewhere in between the low-end garbage and the long shots. Still, it doesn't entirely hurt to submit to a few of those long shots on your list. You never know. There's no real algorithm to this, so anything's possible. Just hamper your expectations. expectations. Step three, look for discounts and waivers. Once you've identified the film festivals you're interested in, reach out to them personally. Introduce yourself and your film. Tell them why you're interested in their festival specifically and why you feel that your film would be a good fit. Then ask them if they have any discounts or waivers for newcomers to the festival. You never know. Keep it short and sweet, but genuine. And do not send out a blanket, generic email to everyone. A lot of these festivals, especially the genre ones, all work with each other, and people that work on one festival might be working on another, so it does nobody any good if they see you sending the same email out to everyone. Chances are they probably won't give you any discounts or waivers or any special treatment over others, but you never know. I've had some success with this in the past, so it might work for you. It's worth a shot. Step four, narrow the list down and submit. Unless you have endless budget, you're gonna wanna narrow your list down to the festivals you really wanna be a part of. This shit ain't cheap, and the fees add up. Before submitting, be very aware of the festival's deadlines. If you like saving money, it's best to submit your films as early as you can. The longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. If you do submit to a later deadline, just be sure you really wanna submit to this festival. Not only will it cost you more money, but also at this point, a lot of these festivals have hundreds, if not thousands of films to go through already. So even if you do have a great film and it's a perfect fit, the chances of a festival being able to find a spot for your film go down. So just be sure. Step five, have a cutoff and ignore the noise. At some point, you have to tell yourself enough is enough. Your eyes might get bigger than your stomach, and you'll likely want to up your chances by submitting to as many film festivals as possible, especially if you're lucky enough to experience some official selections early in your run. Just don't. Stick to your list. Stop it. Get some help. And especially if you're using Film Freeway to submit your films, which I highly recommend you do for many reasons, you're probably going to get a lot of emails from other festivals you've never heard of, offering you discounts to submit your amazing film to the festival. Nine times out of 10, these are total bullshit. They're just scams to get your money. We still want the money, Lapovsky, we you up. These emails will claim that they came across your film and just love it so much that they have to have it a part of their festival and are gonna give you a discounted fee to make it happen. Sounds great, right? No. It is usually a ploy to get your money, so I usually avoid them at all costs, but if it's something you want to look into, do your research, but just be aware of that. Step six, don't get discouraged. No matter how good your film is, chances are you're going to get far more rejections than you are acceptances. Festivals only have so many time slots for films. It is a numbers game, and usually, in no way, shape, or form a reflection of the quality of your film. You is kind, you is smart, you is important. Being accepted at all to any of the festivals on your list is a major achievement. So when that happens, focus on and celebrate that. Don't let the rejections dishearten you. If you can't handle that, don't submit. It is what it is, and it's a part of the game. Step seven, if you get in, go. If you can, 
try to go to every film festival your film gets accepted into. Again, networking is the most important part of all of this. Also, when audiences get to put a face to your film, the more interest they have. Plus, a lot of these film festivals do Q&As after their short film blocks, so it's important to take part in those as well. And it's just a great experience to get to see your hard work on the big screen with an audience. Aside from networking, that's what it's all about. So if you can make it, do it. And the last step, enjoy it. Have fun going to the festivals, meeting others, seeing your film on the big screen. None of this shit matters if you don't enjoy the process. So don't overthink it or underthink it. Enjoy the moment. Not many others get to have the opportunity that you have right now. So don't take it for granted and be proud of your accomplishment. You did it! Congratulations! So all of this leads us to the main question. Is it all really worth it? Again, no one can really tell you that beside yourself. So you have to go through the experience to make that call. For me, I've been through this a number of times. And while I've had a number of great experiences meeting others at these festivals and seeing my film on the big screen, it's expensive. And I spent a lot of time and money on this. Um, and also, it hasn't really necessarily advanced my career in some of the ways I was maybe hoping it would early on. I'm not saying that's the festival's fault at all, but I've been through this enough times where I feel like I can make an informed decision on if it's worth it for me. So honestly, at this point, for me, I don't think it is. Uh, I don't regret any of it at all, but unless circumstances change, I think it's the right move. Who knows, maybe one day I'll have the reputation after making enough good films where I get invited to some of these good festivals, or I'll meet and build relationships with the people that run those festivals and get in that way, which can happen. I'm not saying I'm giving up on filmmaking or anything, but when I ask myself if it's truly worth it for me, time-wise, financially, stress, all that stuff, I don't think it is. Uh, that doesn't mean that it might not be for you. Again, you have to go through it to really figure out if it is worth it to you, but after doing it enough times for me, I don't think it's worth it, but who knows what the future will bring. Your experience could be completely different from mine and open some doors for you, who knows? Uh, it's different for everybody, so you have to go through it to figure out if it's worth it for you. Like everything else, Film festivals are a business. And cousin businesses are booming. They're designed to get money. Your money. We chase the money! Come and get it. Just make sure you do everything you can to make an informed decision of whether it's worth that money. That's about it. Hope this helps at all, somewhat. Either way, get out there, make some good films, have fun, and see what you can do with them. Godspeed, and may the force be with you. Drink them if you got them.